Hi, I'm Brett Martin from Zanata Consulting, and this is our overview on time tracking inside of Zoho projects. This is taken from our 2022 webinar. And if you like this video, be sure to click on the link below and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. And with that, we'll get a little bit into time tracking. Uh, this can be particularly important, you know, just whether or not you want to know, maybe you're doing a project for a client, you're billing by the hour. Maybe you're wanting to know what your the profitability is on a certain project you're, you're building out, how much time it's taking. And time tracking allows you to do that. So, you know, in our example project here, we're just going to go ahead and choose a task. And uh, when you're in the task, you have that, you can have your comments and subtasks and all the documents, everything associated with it. But that with that kind of menu that runs through the middle of the task, you can click on log hours and you can add a time log. A couple different ways you can log time. You can hit the uh, add a time log and go ahead and manually. Here's the date I did it. Here's how much time I spent on it. That kind of you know whatever you want to put in here you then go ahead and add that and now you've got the time log added another way to add a time log is when you're back in the main task itself you'll see there's a tiny little clock that kind of uh that, that you can see next to the actual associated task and if you click that start timer button you can then go ahead and start a timer and run that timer for as long as you're doing the task. When you're done with the task, you can go ahead and stop the timer and close it out. You also have the ability to pause that timer while you're working on the task. This may step away for 15 minutes yep. to take a break and really log the actual accurate time that you worked on that task. And, and once you've done that, that then you will uh, quick notice that, that also will work, or that'll also work in the mobile app. So if you have people on site, they'll be able to just quickly click a button and start their timer. Uh, so most of the time, that's how we see people use it is that, you know, I start on this, just start it on my phone. When I'm done, stop it on my phone and everything's locked for me. Fantastic. And then, of course, once you do that, you would decide if it's billable or not billable and you can go and update that. And then you'll go ahead and you'll see your overall timesheet. So for every single task, how much time was spent on it, uh, the notes that we're taking, how it was logged, uh, you'll have that exact information in your overall timesheets. And uh, you can then jump into a uh, particular project and you can run a timesheet report on a particular project. So if you go back into reports, which we talked about, I talked about earlier when I was doing an overview, one of the reports is timesheets. You can choose a particular project for that and we'll give you an entire list of all of the timesheets that are associated with that project. Hey, thanks so much for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our videos. Thanks again for stopping by.